There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Great. Good to see morning. You. Glad to be back. And uh, it's been two weeks since we were together. So um, we took a look two weeks ago at Close to You. They long to be close to you. That's a nice song. <clears throat> Real nice song. And we did a little bit of holding on to some right hand notes <clears throat> to create our own quote unquote little bit of harmony, which was good. And we added a few uh, chords to it. Kind of kind of focused on some major sevens, which we don't do a whole lot of, but that that seemed to work real nicely in this song. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, just a really nice, nice, nice song. Any questions or comments on that? Now's the time. You no. have my brain in full gear, so <laughs> I'll share anything you want to know. <laughs> No questions, no comments. No, I don't have anything. I, I just was not there for the lesson. So I just kind of played it as it was and uh, played around with an intro a little bit and stuff like that. But uh, no, no questions. Okay, good. Well, you were playing it. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I have it. I have it recorded. Are you listen? Do you want to listen to any recordings? Yes, go for it, Doug. Okay, all right. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you want it. If it's or a thumbs down if it's too loud or too soft. Okay. Okay. That's good. Whoa. Very nice. Very nice. Thanks. Great arrangement you did on your own. I'm impressed. <laughs> Very nice. Good. Thanks. Good job, Doug. I always like playing around with transpose, but it doesn't go in all places. But every once in a while. No, but it worked where you did it. That yeah, was good. Yeah, that yeah, was real good. Yeah. 
I also like the intro. I don't know what I don't know what other people were using and what you suggested, but I could kind of play along with that intro a little bit, which I like. Uh huh. Yeah. So, but I did find the beat. The drum was pretty heavy at times, and I didn't know. You know, if I push the FX, it seems like the drum was pretty heavy. But other than that, I, I like that. So, did you pull back the volume on it? You know, I, no, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I need thought. a little bit. I need a little bit of help with you know just how to isolate that and pull it back and so lock it lower in. Lower the drum volume. Okay. To where you like it, and then um, push. And then lower have, genius. No, then you have to lock your accompaniment so the okay. drums stay put. Okay. I'll, I'll have to have a, another lesson on that, but that's fine. Okay. Dr. Monero is in. That's right. <laughs> Drum volume not lock if you press both up and down at the same time? Uh, not on a symphony. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. No, we have to do it by accompaniment lock instead. But yes, many instruments, even the easies, you press the tempo together, but not so much the volume. But there's ways to get around it, as I just said, so it's possible. Someone else? Thank you, Doug. Mm -hmm. I have a Joni. Okay. I used uh, soft rock as the style. All righty. arrangement very good just I'm not sure if I heard correctly but I I know that you faded out but I'm not sure that yeah. you faded out on a C chord no I don't think I did I didn't hear it I didn't hear a C chord fade No, it was probably the F major seven. Yeah, you want to fade on the C chord. Okay. It's it because that's the finality of it. Good, good chords, nice, nice additional notes. Very good. Great, you guys are brilliant. <laughs> this is my gifted group. Any questions? Anybody nope. else? Joni, this is Levon. I have it. Okay, Levon. Oh, okay. good. Wonderful. And I used the uh, style of the way we. Say that again. I'm sorry. 
The way we were. The way we were. Okay. Yvonne. Thank Good you. Job. I heard all your extra little notes and uh, fairly good. Nice chords. Good. Thank you. Very good. I like that rhythm work. That rhythm worked just fine with it. So it was good. Mm. I'm just going to get some background noise here. So I'm just muting everyone right now. And you can unmute if you have something to say or ask. Very good. Great. <clears throat> you guys did a great job. And uh, I just want to revisit Gary. In normal circumstances, I would end on an F chord for fading. It's that last measure of notes that changed to the C chord that offset the F. And so that's why I suggested that. I'd want to listen to it again, and I will actually uh, today after, and I'll fade with both. Try the F okay. and then try the C. But I'm thinking because the very last measure or two has shifted to C, that that's what needs to fade on it. But I'm going to okay. go back and visit that, and I'll be talking to you about that later okay sure we'll try them both good job everyone super you're brilliant any other questions or comments on that it looks like having two weeks paid off on that one Yeah, we're good to go. Okay. So today, which should have been last week, we're going to somewhere out there. A beautiful song. <clears throat> it's actually on song setup 
for the symphony um, sets up on pop out there, which is very nice. That's kind of the signature style for this particular song. So um, if you don't have that, you could also use Roses, which is a, a bit older rhythm. You could use Love Ballad. Um, I look through Marquee Aria. I think you have some rhythms that would also accommodate that quite nicely. Uh, on a Liberty, I couldn't try it because I don't have these rhythms, but I am curious uh, on It's Possible. I'd like to know if that one works. And I'm curious about Bolero di Amore. I don't have that rhythm either. So if anybody wants to try those out, that would that would be great. So we Joni, yes. Have you tried? I'm almost afraid to mention it. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. What's the As, question? Well, the question is. If I pull up the song, Have Yourself a Merry Christmas, I like that to go with somewhere out there. And it doesn't seem like it would go, but it, it's, I don't know. Really? No, you're shaking your head. I'm no, no, no. <laughs> I like out of the box. Uh, um, oh, this is out of the box. I know. Uh, yeah, I got that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But that that's... uses the wonderful world. So it's so, have... It does. It, it, it Yes. It's Gary's have right on yourself that. a Merry Christmas. Yes, have Merry Christmas. works <laughs> mercy me <laughs> the reason i i kind of was sorting through it in my brain is because um wonderful world is a six eight rhythm yeah yes and so i was trying to compute in my mind if we could use a six eight rhythm and be playing a four four song yes um, but it, it it very much did work so, I, I do want to try that. Did you say pop out there earlier? Pop, P-O-P. -O -P. Out there. Pop out there. Okay, all right. I'm yeah. gonna, I want to try That's that. That's the signature. They couldn't call it the real title for exact, somewhere out exactly. there. Exactly, yeah. But that is the signature style for that okay. particular song. All is right. that the same as on the Aria? It uses the signature style called Out There Ballad. Is that the same one that they just renamed? Oh, wow. Good question. Are, are you nearby that you could yeah, play me a tad of, just play me some chords on Out There Ballad? Yeah, that'll work. The only thing I would suggest on that is you're going to have to take the tempo up a little bit. It's okay, a little bit yeah, it's got, the te it's got the tempo at 70 for the song. It's a little bit too slow for this song. Okay. Okay. But yeah, that'll work. Let's see. Let's go here. So. Is that the same tempo or the same style as, and they just renamed it on the Aria? Uh, I don't have? know. We're going to find out right now. I might have to have you give it to me one more time. Give me the yours. It sounds again. the same to me. 
Let me hear it one more time. The Sounds the same to me. Yeah, it's I think it same. does sound the same. And uh, what they did is, um, so they could get closer to the real title of Out There Ballad because it's somewhere out there. Right. And then when, prior to the aria, them doing pop and then just calling it Out There. So I think they were able to get more real with the title. They're so sneaky. <laughs> and Joni, you know what's interesting? Huh. What's interesting on my, what do I have, a symphony? I have a symphony, I symphony. guess. When they reprogrammed it, I have pop ballad and I have pop out there. What? I really do. I'm looking at it right on my screen. A pop ballad. Pop ballad, and then I have pop out there. So that must be because when they re you know, added some more styles to the symphony, they must have put in the pop out there, if that was later. Where is the pop ballad located? Pop ballad is just located under P's. <laughs> no, which rhythm button? Under pop. Oh, it's under, it's, pop. under pop. It's just under, oh, I see. It's under pop, rhythm and blue. Yeah, pop. Mm -hmm. Under pop? That's, that's pop ballad. And then let me do pop out there. Right, let me do pop Oh, pop ballad. out there. Hold pop on. out there is underneath the button of classic special. Right. Which one was that? I think that... the out that was pop ballad. I think the out there works better. Ditto. And the pop ballad was a little bit heavy on the bass. Yeah. Um, and the beat was a little bit. It the beat was moving a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So, um, but you're right. We have both. What do you know? Pop out there. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find myself right now. Pop. And you said the pop ballad was a little bit too heavy, you thought, on the bass. I thought. Right. Okay. Yeah. I may still try have yourself a Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's all Christmas right. in July yeah. is coming. You can right. have uh, two versions going at the same time. There we, there we go. Okay, so the melody is like this. Wow. Okay, that's the first musical phrase. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to play that again with the chords that are written in the book. Okay. Okay. Heard it? Sounds okay? Yep. Yes. Uh, I'm yes. Glad you're I'm glad you're happy with it because we need some we need some uh, some chords moving on the third and fourth beat, don't we? In those measures. <laughs> oh, dog, you're just a step ahead of me. Oh, I'm sorry. Now okay. I want you to listen to the melody. Sing the melody in your head of the first few uh, musical phrase, and listen to my chords. Okay. Hear a difference? Yeah. 
Yes. I should hear a wow from people. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Gary. Wow. <laughs> Gary, you're muted. We can't hear you. Oh. I hear a little bit of static today. I don't know if it's just me or when you play the upper keyboard. The lower yeah. keyboard is fine. Okay. But I like the chords. Good. Let's tackle them. Measure one over the G note. G is in George. We're going to play an E minor. E is an elephant minor. Measure two, we have an F chord. And then over the C note, we're going to play a B, as in boy, B flat seven. Mm. That B flat seven, in my mind for this song, is very critical. That goes in a place that you're going to notice if it's not there. Yeah. On measure three, beat three, that's a D as in dog note, we're going to play an E minor. Oh. Okay, line two, measure one. On the third beat, we're going to play E minor. So I have an F chord. Then I'm going to play E minor, and then I'm going to D minor. What's that called? Walk down. Excellent. Walk down. Very yeah. good. Very good. Line three, measure one. Beat two, you want to play E minor. So we're going to go D minor, E minor, F. What's that called? Walk up. Very good. Are, are, you, are you on second measure there, Joni? Measure D one, line three, measure one. Oh, thank you. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Measure two is a G chord. I played a G7 suspended. And then in the third beat, I went to G7. If you can't do the suspended, don't worry about it. Just play G7. That's fine. Is is the G7 suspended? Is that uh, C, D, and G? Well, yeah, G, C, and D. G, G, C, and D. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. Measure three on line three. Above the G note, G is in George. We're going to play E minor there. There's a lot of good room for um, chord movement in this song. Of course, Hal Leonard was gracious and gave you the simple version, but we're going to doctor it up a little bit. Line four, measure one. There's a half rest. That's where you want to play a G is in George seven. Line four, first measure. That rest. Yep. G G7. Correct. <clears throat> okay, for me, top of the page, line one, the lyrics are in that big somewhere out. Um big sum is the lyrics there. That's an E note with the word mm -hmm. sum. And I'm going to play an E minor there. And then out is an A note. Mm. And I'm going to play a G7. G is in George. So you're playing four different, you're playing four chords on each. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's you... right. We're going to tackle playing four chords in a measure. Wow. Joni, could you repeat that line again? Yes. 
it, for me, it's the top of the page, but the lyrics are in, in the beginning of the line. We'll find one another in yep. that big sum over sum. We want an E minor chord. Okay. Where out is an A note. That's where I play a G7. G as in George. Okay. Thank you. Joni, I'm going to yes. forget. So could we go back to line four just for a second? I'm looking at all these E minors that you're putting in here. If we go to the fourth line, second measure, there's a C chord there. Could we go to an E minor above the word say? Absolutely. Okay. All right. It seems like we're kind of rocking back. on. Yeah, between. very astute. Okay. Well, that's well. I, I, I didn't do it just because we're doing it a lot. And so I started to become just oh. about how much I wanted it to sound the same way. Um, gotcha. But absolutely, you couldn't. It's not going to sound any worse. It's going to sound better, of course. Okay. It's All just right. that it will sound consistently the same. And some people don't like that. Some people Mix it up. would yeah. like to hear it here, hear it there, but not everywhere that the melody is consistent. So gotcha. it's up to you. Gotcha. But absolutely, right. it would work. Yes. All right. All definitely. Right. So I'm going to the last page for me on line one. The uh, lyrics are, neath the same big sky, <clears throat> the word sky is a G is in George note, where I played a G7 suspended. G7. If you can't do a suspended, don't worry about it. What are the notes for that, Joni, please? G, C, D. Could we do an FX over the top of that G7 suspended? Neat the thing. Or is that yes, too much? Yes, you can, but you may not hear the suspended chord as well. Gotcha. Okay. So the next measure, measure two, is the lyric somewhere out. Well, somewhere is a G note. That's going to be an E minor. And then we oh. have out is an F chord. And then there, which is a C note, mm -hmm. that's where you want that B flat seven. That's Excuse a me. very important chord. And that's A flat and B flat, or B flat and A flat. Okay. Correct. And then on line two, measure one, on the third beat, we're going to play E minor again. Oh. Measure two, over the rest, we're going to play an E minor again. You're going to get lots of practice with your E minors this time. Okay. What I'm realizing is we have two weeks to practice this too. That's right. <laughs> it's another two-weeker. Where did you right. put minor. I'm sorry? The second E minor on line two, the last one you just mentioned on the third page. Over the rest. Over, the, over, the, over the quarter rest. Okay. Got it? Yep. All right. Let's give it a try. Oh. And then you can mark changes as you see fit.
You yes. added some twiddly notes at the end. I did. Instead of just holding the very last note, G, I played G E G E G E G E. And then I went to D F D F D F D F with a B flat chord. And then I went back to the G note with a C chord. So it's like this. I think I just didn't do enough of them right there, but double it. I need beat to do that. Hold on. So it's G E G E G E G E then D F D F D F D F and then a G note with a C chord. And when you did the, Johnny, when you went for D, F, D, F four times, was that with a B flat chord? Yes, exactly. Okay. You guys are so sharp. You don't miss a trick. And and sure, and, and we have to be sure and play that C chord at the end with the oh, G. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay. All right. Was everybody okay following the music map? We didn't really discuss that before I started playing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Back to the S and then, I don't know, I turned the page for the second time and I I hadn't highlighted and I'm like, where is the coda? Oh, <laughs> Boom. there it is. End of the first <laughs> line. Right. It, can, it can sneak past you if you don't highlight it. Very Jeff, This is Marlene. Song. What temple did, did you have? I'm sorry again. What was it? What was the tempo? Seventy. And what was that style? That was pop out there. Thank you. You're welcome, Marlene. Oh, okay. Pop out there. Pop out there. That's what came up on the song setup because that's the right. that's the signature for that song. Such a beautiful song. Oh, it is. They, we we don't hear music written like that anymore, mm. unfortunately. Any questions? So, yes, it is a two-weeker. If you weren't with us in the very beginning, I'll remind you again, there are no virtual classes next week. Um, we are having a Memorial Week promotion, so uh, you get two weeks to take this on and do whatever you want with it <laughs> and try different rhythm styles see what you like and try different sounds sometimes you get a rhythm style you like and then you don't like the sounds so yeah. then you have to start prodding you know through category setups and and see if it's there i did not try it but I bet you that there's a lot of sounds <laughs> on the category love songs. Yeah. That would be real nice with this. Real, real nice. Any questions? Wow, you did so well today. I'm so proud of you. It was great. It's good to be back. Now I'm going to miss you again for a week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's what keeps life interesting. There's always something different going on. Exactly. Exactly. Doug, you have to take those four wheels and make it to Sun City one of these days. I am. I was, yeah, it would be nice. It's I not that far, honey. <laughs> you know what? It was so much easier to, to go to Bradenton. <laughs> yes, I was I was spoiled the first That's couple of years. because when people are retired, they decide in their minds, <laughs> cognitively or not, <laughs> I think I don't really want to drive more than six miles a day. No, 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 no. For me, honestly, sometimes my schedule is such that I just don't want to spend that. I don't know about spending that time, that length of time at times on the road. But uh, no, oh. 
I'll see you one of these days. Honey, yeah. you're preaching to the choir here. Uh, listen, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. God. Have gas prices gone up down there? Like Holy here? Toledo. Oh, who yeah. can afford to drive? Pardon? <laughs> who can afford to drive? Not me. I'll tell you that God, right it's crazy now. Here. It's been very critical, very difficult. It's you know, and one taking and about a hundred dollars now to full to keep myself full for a week. Ooh, wow! Really, really bad. I used yeah. to pay about between sixty and seventy, and now the last time I filled up, it was one twenty-four. Wow! Oh my, Gary, why do you work anymore? Gary, what do you have? It must be a four wheel because of your snow and stuff. Yeah, I have a Volvo. Ah. And that takes oh, really premium. Right. My, but, my what wife. Is yeah. that? What's Vogel? Vo Volvo. 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 Oh, Volvo. a Volvo. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it takes premium. Which my is wife about has. 30 cents more per liter. Yep. Yep. Well, here's a consolation for you. I was just, somebody shared this with me two days ago. In Holland, fuel is $10 a gallon. Yeah. And oh what, what people have done is they've purchased electric bikes mm -hmm. and they're getting around on the electric bike unless the weather's bad and then they take the car. Interesting, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. oh, there's lots of bikes in Holland. There always have been, even like regular bikes. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess the electric bike sales are up, up, up right now. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Up here it is. Even electric cars, people are starting to buy yeah, but for sure for where for i sure. live an electric car is impractical it's just too far the distances to go anywhere i'd be plugging yeah. in the car all the time <laughs> yeah 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 for me i drive too far so i'd be having to charge all the time so it doesn't yeah, i saw a cute cute picture where on i think it was on facebook a guy was driving an electric car and he was pulling a trailer with a generator in it and he was charging oh. his car from the generator. <laughs> <laughs> like that's really helping. <laughs> but, but, yeah, and using gasoline to run the generator. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, good to share some time with you. Love being with you. I uh, hope you'll have a good time putting this arrangement together. I will be uh, sending the cloud copy to Robert, and it should be posted up there on Friday. If you want to review it, um, you're welcome to do so. And I'll miss you, but I look forward to seeing you back here on Zoom in two weeks. How's that? Yeah, that sounds good. good. Thanks. Thanks. All Thanks. right. Thanks. Happy so Memorial good. Day. I'll see you yeah. soon. Yeah. Thanks, okay. Johnny. You're welcome. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. You too. Bye-bye.